Okay, so we have a hydrogen atom in the second excited state. And we want to calculate the energy of this atom in this energy level. Okay? And to do that, we're going to use the Bohr model. Okay, so remember, the Bohr model is appropriate for hydrogen, a one electron atom, and it's also appropriate for one electron ions. So, such as helium plus, lithium two plus, things like that. Okay? And the equation that we use to calculate the energy for some energy level is E sub n, and this is just quantum number n, the principal quantum number. Okay? And it's going to be negative 2.18 times 10 to negative, negative 18 joules. Okay? Multiplied by z squared, that's the atomic number for the one electron atom or ion, and then that's going to be multiplied by 1 over n squared, where n is, again, the principal quantum number of the energy level that we are calculating the energy for, okay? So, all right, so now we have a hydrogen atom in the second excited state, so let's remind ourselves of a couple other things. So n equals 1, okay? So that's the ground state, right? So that's the lowest energy, the most stable. N equals 1 is the ground state. N equals 2 is the first excited state. Okay. So now, if N equals 2 is the first excited state and we have the second excited state, what do you guys think N is? And if you said N equals 3, then you would be right. Okay. And what would Z be for hydrogen? The atomic number for hydrogen, right, it's one. Okay. All right, so we have everything ready to go now. So let's go ahead and calculate the energy of the N equals three level. So E sub three, and let's, so I'm just labeling it, 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. And I'm going to put in 1 squared and 1 over n equals 3. So we're going to put in 3, and then that's going to be squared. Okay. So that's going to give us negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. 1 squared is still 1, so now I'm going to drop that off. And we're going to end up with 1 over 9. Okay. So when you multiply those two guys together, then you are going to end up with negative 2.42 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay, so that is the energy of the n equals 3 energy level. Okay, and that's the, the energy of this hydrogen atom. Okay, so let's just draw a little picture here and label it. So here's an energy state diagram and then we'll go ahead and put this these energy levels on here. So okay and so here's n equals 1 it's the lowest energy. Okay the ground state. n equals 2 is the next one up and this is where our hydrogen atom is. It's in this n equals 3 or the second excited state. Okay and what we're going to learn to do is to calculate the energy when the atom transitions to a lower or higher energy state. Okay? And that's going to be a change in energy or delta E atom. So that's coming soon.